지난 겨울 2차 코로나 봉쇄 당시만 해도 인적 없던 운하 주변이 이제 완전히 되살아났습니다. 덴마크는 현재 12세 이상 백신 접종률이 85%에 달합니다. 모든 방역 규제를 해제한 지난 9월 10일 유럽 연합 국가 중 위드 코로나를 처음 시작한 나라가 덴마크입니다. nicht ohne Folgen. Ab heute fallen bei unseren Nachbarn im Norden alle Corona-Einschränkungen. Die Regierung in Kopenhagen verweist auf eine hohe Impfquote von über 83 Prozent. Denmark has lifted all domestic pandemic restrictions, the first European Union member nation to do so. The government credits a high vaccination rate for the move. Denmark's c o v i d 19 health service met with the top health officials. The Danish Parliament was discussing this uh, early in early spring, so the reopening slowly started back in early April, and then uh, as steps of slow, slow reopening, first very, very cautious, and then uh, as the epidemic came under better control, uh, more fast and more uh, uh, widespread. One of the major medical causes that we can reopen is that we have had a very, we do have a very high coverage of vaccines and effective vaccines of our population. 한때 하루 확진자가 4,500여 명까지 급증했던 덴마크는 올해 2월 이후 안정세를 찾았습니다. 중환자와 사망자가 크게 늘지 않자 방역 완화 계획을 발표했습니다. mange dage og i mange timer og kan nu præsentere en samlet genåbningsplan for Danmark. For det første en fortsat udfasning af restriktionerne med det overordnede mål, at det danske samfund med få undtagelser er åbent, når alle over 50 er blevet tilbudt en vaccine. Danmark에서는 모든 규제를 해제하는 것을 리오프닝이라고 불렀습니다. 하지만 시작은 쉽지 않았습니다. 그 당시만 해도 백신 접종률은 5%에 불과했습니다. In this year it has also been important that when we started the reopening you could participate in those activities provided that you either were vaccinated in the start very few were so the other condition was that you had a a fresh test that you were not carrying the virus and if you're not vaccinated you have to go for the test So that's also giving an incentive to become vaccinated, because otherwise you'll need to go to a test uh, very frequently. 다섯 단계로 진행한 방역 완화는 접종률에 따라 백신 패스, 실내 집회 인원 완화, 마스크 의무 폐지 등 5개월 동안 천천히 시행이 됐고 마지막 단계인 리오프닝까지 성공했습니다. All around the country, we, we have been very good at uh, vaccinating. So I think that's, that's very yeah, and, and people are, are very uh, trust, trusting the government and, and the, the experts uh, when, they, uh, when they have their um, uh, guiding people. I think uh, in, in other countries, uh, a bigger part of the population will will say about their leaders oh we we we, we don't believe them we don't we think uh, uh, they are they are they are hiding some things and so on there, there's a very good trust in in the danish political system 덴마크에는 20분 거리마다 검사소가 있어 누구나 쉽게 검사를 받고 30분 만에 검사 결과가 나오는 항원 검사도 인정됩니다 덴마크 사람들의 자발적인 검사율도 높습니다 How often do you get tested these days, Mark? Back in the days, 
because I have the vaccine, I actually don't have to do anything if I've been in contact with someone who is already tested positive. But just to be sure, I took a test anyways. 100만 명당 검사율 1위라는 덴마크의 검사 건수는 약 8,500만 건. 국민 한 사람당 14번 검사를 진행한 셈입니다. Basically right now in Denmark the epidemic because of the very high vaccination rate and because people in general are good at at, at following the advice and and we have this high level of trust then we right now we have a feeling that the epidemic is under control and then we can sort of roll back the restrictions because give people their life back for a uh, for, for, for a moment, <laughs> and and we're all hoping, of course, that this is then permanent. But right now, the discussion is how big, uh, how much should we keep in place?